the army is organized, is trained and equipped for combat on land. The army's purpose is to defeat enemy land forces and to control the land. The army's role is unique. It makes war against men, defending our people against attack, attacking the enemy's forces in turn. The army, the men who comprise it, comes into direct contact with the enemy. Many of the weapons of ground combat change, but the infantryman's role is the same. It is a personal relationship between him and the enemy, a problem of kill or be killed. The Army's losses are measured in terms of men, of human life, not equipment. By its very nature, the Army is singularly qualified to accomplish certain jobs. It provides a positive defense against enemy land forces. It combats guerrilla action. And by maneuver, the Army forces the enemy into positions where he is vulnerable to attack by a variety of weapons. Even after battle, the enemy's people are still a problem for the army. Though hit and run tactics are sometimes used, the army's operation is basically a sustained one. Because of sustained action and direct contact with the enemy, the army has a large number of people to look after, civilians and prisoners of war. Once having gained control of the enemy's land, it is the army's job to control the people on it. This is the ultimate objective of the ground forces. The army must restore order from chaos by imposing its will on the defeated enemy. The army may be fighting one minute, then organizing civilian control and military government the next. 